You want to build your own carport, but you're afraid of missing a crucial step in the process. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know before building your own carport, from preparation to the finishing touches. After watching, you'll be ready to start. Let's go! Here's a list of all the elements you will have to take care of. We are going to detail them one by one. First, preparation is essential. There are two things you should think about. The location. The chosen location must meet three criteria. The land where you intend to build your carport should be flat and level. There should be no obstacles in your desired location, like trees, power lines, or pipes. There are no zoning restrictions that would prevent you from building a carport there. The second thing to think about while planning your project are the tools you need. To build your own carport, you will need a variety of tools and materials. The specific requirements may vary depending on the design and size of the carport, but here is a general list of tools and elements you may need. A measuring tape, a level, a hammer, flathead and Phillips screwdrivers, a circular saw, a socket set, some pliers, a shovel, a wheelbarrow, a post hole digger, some concrete mixing tools, and a ladder or scaffolding, depending on the height of the carport. All of that may sound expensive, but renting equipment can be an affordable option for DIY enthusiasts. It's also important to factor in the cost of equipment rentals when budgeting for your project. All right, now let's talk about the time it takes to build that carport. On average, a small carport can take about one or two weeks to build, while larger carports can take up to several weeks. However, there are four factors that can affect the time it takes to build your carport. Weather conditions can affect the time it takes to build a carport. Inclement weather like rain or extreme heat can delay the project, and you may need to wait for better weather conditions to resume work. So don't ignore this factor if you have this project in the middle of winter. The roofing material used can also impact construction time. For example, if you choose to install a metal roof, this may be quicker to install than a shingle roof, which requires one or two more days for additional layers and sealing. Your level of experience also plays a role in the time it takes to build a carport. If you're a beginner, it will take longer to complete the project as you learn new skills and techniques. If you pour a concrete slab, it can take up to a week to cure properly. It's essential to allow enough time for the foundation to harden before starting the framing process. Hiring a professional contractor can help save time if you're in a rush. At Allen's Factory Outlet, we provide free installation for your carport. This could save you a lot of time and money. Now that you have the time to build your carport, we'll focus on the size to choose. Here are some factors to consider when planning the space required for your project. Number 1. Available Space Measure the dimensions of the area available in your property and consider any limitations or restrictions, such as setbacks from property lines or other structures. Ensure that the size of carport you choose fits within the available space without encroaching on neighboring properties or causing other conflicts. 2. The number and size of vehicles. The size of your carport should be based on the number and size of vehicles you plan to park under. A standard two-car carport should measure at least 20 by 20 feet, while a carport just for an RV or a boat should be at least 12 feet wide and 30 feet long. 3. Future Needs Anticipate your future needs and consider any potential changes in the number or size of vehicles you might own. Choosing a slightly larger carport size initially can provide flexibility and room for new vehicles or future expansion. Spend some time researching the above factors and choose the right options for your specific needs. Because when it's done, it's too late. After you have some measurements in mind, check out the huge range of carport sizes we offer at allensfactoryoutlet.com to see what option is the best for you. Alright, this preparation is great, but now you need to think about your carport design. This is why you should know how to deal with rain. Dealing with rainfall effectively is essential to protect your car and ensure the longevity of your carport. There are simple things you can do. Ensure that the roof has a suitable slope to allow water to drain easily. Consider using materials such as metal sheets or polycarbonate panels that are waterproof and durable. Additionally, consider installing gutters and downspouts along the edges of the roof to collect and redirect rainwater away from the carport area. Properly position the downspouts to ensure that water drains away from the car and the carport's foundation. In addition to rainfall, dealing with wind is another issue. 
Carports can be susceptible to wind damage, so make sure you select materials that can withstand strong winds. You may pay a little more, but it's always better to be safe than to wake up to a carport that has collapsed on your cars during a storm. Also, here's how to properly deal with wind and ensure the safety and durability of your carport. 1. Anchoring Properly anchoring your carport is crucial for preventing wind damage. Make sure to use anchors and tie-downs that are appropriate for the size and weight of your carport. 2. Roof Design the design of your carport roof can affect its resistance to wind damage. Consider choosing a roof style that is designed to withstand high winds, like a hip or gable roof. 3. Wind breaks and natural barriers. You can plant dense shrubs or trees on the windward side of the carport or install a solid fence as a windbreak. These barriers can help redirect or diffuse the wind, reducing the impact on your carport. Okay. You already know the time it takes to build the size of your carport and how to deal with the elements. Now, let's talk about the cost. Here's a table with some of the key items that you need to purchase in order to build a carport yourself, along with estimated costs. You can pause the video and make a screenshot. These costs are estimates and can vary depending on the size and complexity of the carport, as well as factors such as location and local building codes. To bring clarity, we are going to delve into the costs associated with two different approaches to building a carport. Tackling it as a do-it-yourself project or hiring a professional service to do it for you. It might seem enticing to handle the project on your own, but understanding all the costs involved is crucial. Let's compare the costs of the two options for a 12 by 20 feet, one car carport built over an existing driveway. Under the DIY option, the cost of a metal carport kit for a 12 by 20 feet, one car setup typically ranges from $1,200 to $2,500. You'll also need to consider the cost of permits, which vary based on location, but generally range from $100 to $300. You can also rent necessary tools or equipment, like a post hole digger or cement mixer. This can add an additional $100 to $300 to the total cost. From this, we can estimate that the total cost for the DIY option for a 12 by 20 carport would be between $1,450 and $3,100. For the done for you option, getting professionals to construct your carport costs about the same as the DIY option, or much more, depending on who you hire. Regardless of the difference in cost, the done for you option will save you valuable time, effort, and potentially a lot of stress in the long run. For a 12 by 20 feet one car carport, the cost can range from $1,300 to $4,000. Remember, these costs usually cover the complete installation process and any necessary equipment rentals, meaning there shouldn't be any surprise expenses. At Allen's Factory Outlet, our high quality done for you carports currently start at about $1,300 and delivery and installation are free. Plus, you can fully customize your carport so that it perfectly complements your property. Based on these estimates, it's clear that you might actually save money by having your carport done for you. And it's a lot easier too. While the DIY option may seem appealing, it's important to consider the cost of equipment rental, the quality of the carport kit, and the time and effort required. Now that you have a budget, you need a permit. Let's talk about that. Before you start building, you need to get a permit from the local government. Each area has different soil conditions and weather patterns that need to be considered when building a carport and local regulations are designed to ensure that your carport is safe in local condition. Most permit applications require a fee, so make sure to factor in the cost of permit fees when budgeting for your carport project. The cost of permit fees can vary widely depending on the location of your project and the type of permits required. To find out if a building permit is required and how much it will cost, call the building code department for your town, city, or county. Once your permit is approved, you'll need to display it prominently on your property. This will serve as a clear indication to your community that your project has been approved and complies with local regulations. Don't try to bypass this step. Failure to obtain permits can result in fines, legal action, and even demolition of your carport. Spend some time researching the necessary permits and fees and follow the application process carefully to avoid any issues with your project. Okay, you're ready to start. If you want a stable foundation for your carport, your first operation will be pouring a concrete slab. 
Here, we'll sum up the six main operations. Step 1. Prepare the site by removing debris and vegetation and level the area. Step 2. Use the correct formwork and properly secure it. Step 3. Consider adding reinforcement to the concrete mix for increased strength. Step 4. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for mixing and pouring the concrete. Step 5. Use a screed to level the surface and finish the concrete to achieve the desired texture or pattern. And finally, Step 6. Keep the surface moist for at least 7 days to ensure proper curing. When it's done, determine the type of anchor suitable for your carport design and install them according to the manufacturer's instructions. Anchors will provide stability and secure the carport to the concrete slab. Assembling the frame comes next. It provides the structural support for your carport and helps to ensure that it remains stable and secure. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for assembling your carport's frame. Step 1. Lay out the lumber. Arrange all the lumber pieces on the ground as per the carport design, ensuring you have all the necessary components. This step helps you visualize the frame and ensures you have everything you need for assembly. Step 2. Connect the posts and beams. Join the vertical posts to the horizontal beams using connectors like metal brackets or joist hangers, ensuring the connections are secure and aligned properly. Step 3. Square the frame. Measure the diagonals of the frame from corner to corner to check if they are equal, making adjustments to the position of the posts or beams if needed to achieve squareness. Step 4. Secure the joints. Attach screws or nails through the connectors into the lumber to reinforce the joints and provide stability to the frame following the recommended fastener size and type provided in the instructions or by the manufacturer. Step 5. Level the frame. Use a level to ensure the frame is perfectly level, adjusting the height of the posts by adding shims or cutting them if necessary. A level frame ensures stability and proper fitting of the roof panel. Alright, now let's set up the roof. You're going to start by attaching the roof beams. Install the roof beams across the top of the frame, securely fastening them using screws or nails. The number and spacing of the roof beams will depend on the carport design and local building codes. After that, you can install the roof panels. Attach the roofing material to the roof beams, following the manufacturer's instructions. Ensure that the panels are properly aligned and securely fastened. Now it's all about the finishing touches. Thoroughly clean the carport by removing any dust, debris, or construction residues using a broom, vacuum, or pressure washer, ensuring a clean surface for the finishing touches. Depending on the style you want, apply suitable coatings or finishes, such as paint, stain, or sealant, following the manufacturer's instructions and allow sufficient drying time between coats. Also consider adding decorative or functional elements, such as trim, gutters, or lighting fixtures, to enhance the appearance and functionality of the carport, ensuring they are properly installed and secure. Now, if you think that building this by yourself is too complex, you should check out the prefabricated carports at Allen's Factory Outlet. At Allen's, you'll get a top quality carport for less than the cost of a comparable carport kit. Plus, you won't have to bear the burden of installing your carport yourself. We do it for you. And installation is free. Whenever you're ready, visit our website at allensfactoryoutlet.com to start customizing your carport. There's a link in the description. We'll see you there.